So this is what I have for a little field trip. Howdy fixtures, so it's pretty simple stuff. You get this uh, throttle body off, so you got this hose, the radiator, your air intake boot, you gotta take it off, and there's like four bolts that hold this uh, throttle plate on. And it's pretty simple. Um, and I'm gonna show you what happened on the dash here. All right. Howdy fixtures. So the reason why we're changing the throttle body on this is because of this light here. It's been flashing. And I, I've already replaced the throttle body and I think because the light just went off by itself, everything checked out. Um, the throttle body that I took off, it had a whole bunch of play in it, and I'll show you. This might be a test you can do inside the car when it's still mounted in there, but see, I push on this, you can kind of hear there's some rough spots there, and you can actually, if you push on it, yep, there it is. You can't push it, it's stuck. So you gotta push really hard, you gotta push the other way. But sometimes it gets jammed up, so I think that's a good way to tell if it's bad or not. So if you don't have a scan tool and you have the light that comes on, you might be able to just go on there, stick your hand in there, and just kind of see if this is stick or stuck or just feels funny. But we also have a laundry list of codes that came with it for like coil ionization and stuff like that. I'm assuming that might be coincided with the throttle body not working correctly because it's she drove it for like 60 or 70 miles after the light came on so there could be some issues with the codes coming on because it didn't like what it was seeing so I'm gonna go ahead and start it and see what happens because this was missing really bad and that the throttle wasn't responsive at all so we got our tack here it's at 1.2 or like 1500 and that is a lot more responsive than it was before. Before, you couldn't do any of that. It just... So let's go take a look out of here at the throttle and I'll kind of show you what's going on. So, the throttle body is right down in there. And I've already replaced it, as I showed you in the beginning here. Um, but that's, that's basically how you change it. And, you know, some people have told this customer in particular that it was the computer and all this stuff, but it's pretty simple. It's just the throttle. And it's not, I mean, it's not controlled by a wire like your old style, it's controlled by your electronics. So it can have signals going to the computer and it doesn't like, and that's right, it has a computer code. So, so that's basically how you do it. Um, and I just wouldn't drove everything, it seems great. It just, it goes, it doesn't lug down or anything like that. Because before you push on the gas pedal, you're not going very fast or anything like that. Um, what I did to kind of diagnose this whole thing is that. If you have access to a scan tool that will show you data or anything like that, if you look at your throttle position data, you should be able to look at like your APP sensor and that's your accelerator pedal position. That's on the inside of the vehicle. So you should be able to touch that sensor and you should watch the voltage change or the percentage change or whatever it shows on your scanner. Um, the part that was actually broken on this was the part that was outside on the vehicle that's on the throttle and that's the electronic throttle position. Um, throttle body I should say anyways so it was stuck at 13% and it goes into a fail safe mode and we won't let you go any faster than a certain speed um, so that's how I knew that was bad because we pressed the pedal in here we saw it moving and changing the voltage and all that stuff in here out there it was stuck at 13% no voltage change or anything like that so we changed it and then once I took the throttle body off I was able to fill it and it felt like something was broken inside I'm going to try to take it apart in a future video, maybe, maybe, and try to look and see if we can see the innards of it and see what actually failed. Um, I might make an extra video for that. But So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions you like that, give me a comment down below. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. And uh, as always, just appreciate you guys watching me. And uh, have a good one.